project on water cycle is ready. Now let's see how to tell our child. So water cycle is the journey of the water from the sea to the sky, from the sky to the land and from the land back to the sea. So it does this journey again and again and this is called as the water cycle. So we are using the same water which was used by the dinosaurs and the mammoths many years back. So this water cycle is divided into four stages that is evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. Now let's see the evaporation. Now the sun heats up the ocean and the land. This turns the water of the ocean and land into water vapor like this. And these water vapor go up into the sky like this there will be some evaporation from this river from the lake from the mountain from the pond from the soil and also from the plants so this is evaporation then comes the condensation the water vapor which are hot they go into the sky which is relatively cold and these water vapor form the droplets which come together to form clouds like this. So this is condensation. As more and more water droplets come together, the size of the cloud also increases like this. So after condensation comes precipitation. So when the cloud becomes heavy with water droplets, so much so that it cannot hold any water droplets further, then these water droplets, then they fall down to the earth in the form of rain, snow, sleet or hail. And this is called precipitation. Then comes the last stage that is the collection. Now this rain should be collected somewhere. So it is collected in the puddles, bigger than that is the pond, then it is collected in the pond, bigger than that is the lake, then in the river and or streams. Also it is collected in the ocean and some water is collected under the ground. If we cut open the ground, we see there is some space over there in between the rocks and so this rainwater it seeps into the soil and is collected under the the ground like this. If this space gets filled up, it starts flowing, it finds a path between the rocks and then it either empties into the river or into the ocean, thus completing the water cycle. Again then there will be evaporation, again condensation, again precipitation, collection and this will go on and on. So this is our water cycle. So do let me know in the comment box about the project of a water cycle. If you like the video give me a thumbs up. Do share the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more such videos. Till then this is Amrapali signing out. Happy water cycle and happy growing up with your loved ones.